Well, we just showed you here in the past 10 minutes, we heard in a rare news conference from both Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Charles Q. Brown. Um, this is a live look here as it still is happening, saying that the war in Ukraine is a top priority for the U.S. Pleased to bring in right now former National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien under Donald Trump. Sir, welcome into Newsline. Good to have you this Friday. Uh, we look at where we are in the world today, not just Ukraine, but tensions in the Middle East uh, erupting. We are looking at the foreign aid bills, which also now include Taiwan uh, and China as Secretary of State uh, is over there. And the crumbling relations with Xi saying that the U.S. is talking out of two sides of their mouth. Um, very, very different world we're living in under Joe Biden. Very dangerous. Um, what do you see as the next uh, several months before we may have a potential? change in leadership with our adversaries. Will they be taking advantage of this um, weak president? Well, Bianca, what I used to tell my staff when we had our weekly meetings with the senior staff at the NSC is that weakness, even, even perceived weakness in America's part is provocative to our adversaries. If they think we're weak, they're going to try and get take the gap and, and exploit us for their, their own national interests. And when you look at the failure to deter in Ukraine, if you look at the, uh, the failure to deter Iran and Israel, and now the failure to deter China in the Philippines and other places, Taiwan, uh, we're, we're in a very chaotic world, a very dangerous world, and uh, I'm, con I'm concerned that if the Biden administration does not return to peace or strength quickly, we're going to be in real, real trouble, potentially in a war. You also uh, talked a lot about the border and immigration recently when there was a, a Chinese national found near a military base. We have all of these uh, activists now across campuses. A lot of dark money is being uh, funneled into them. We know that it's not all students. You know, uh, Mr. O'Brien, what's your biggest concern as we see possibly terror at our doorstep? Well, we don't know who's coming over the border, and one thing we do know is that we've had, in the last year, 30,000 Chinese military-age males. I mean, these guys have good dental work, tight, high and tight haircuts, flat stomachs. We, we found some, one was at a military base, we've captured others uh, at shooting ranges. And so we've got this huge column of Chinese agents in America, we're doing nothing about it. And when you look at the protests, I was at a Rice University recently, and there was an anti-Israel protest about half the protesters were Chinese. Now, traditionally, they haven't been too involved in Hamas and Gaza, but the Chinese know that that's a, a way to put a wedge between Americans and foster this anti-Semitism. So this wide open border has created a very dangerous security situation for us, not just with the Chinese, but we know Hezbollah agents have come over. We know, we know there are Iranians here. And so I, I'm concerned about an October 7th style attack or another 9-11 happening here in America. And by the way, it's not just me. Christopher Ray, the director of the, CIA, of the FBI, has said all the red flags are flying. It's the worst terror uh, threat status he's seen since he's been director of the FBI. So that's he said that days ago. Uh, yeah, he said that days ago under oath. But many say it's it's hypocritical because it is of their own doing. It is of this open border. Uh, real quickly, in our last remaining moments here, Speaker Mike Johnson went to Colombia and says, after this, I'm going to call President Biden. Um, it is a political, you know, situation now where Biden seems to not be supporting uh, safety of students and not supporting also Benjamin Netanyahu. And now now we have, uh, in, in addition, um, China's President Xi Jinping saying the U.S. is talking out of two sides of their mouth. So we have an ally and an adversary basically saying Biden's all yeah. over the map. Your final thoughts? Well, keep in mind, Bianca, we've given Iran in sanctions relief and hostage ransom payments twice as much money, over $200 billion, than we've given Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan combined. I mean, it's, it's absolutely shocking. And the rank anti-Semitism that we're seeing on these college campuses is shameful. It's not American. It's not who we are. And, and the president needs to send in the National Guard to clear out these camps if the, if the university presidents aren't, don't have the courage to do it themselves and call on the police. We need to make sure that Jewish students are safe. The, you know, the, the, the attacks on them, there, there's no excuse for it, the anti-Semitic attacks, whether you're for or against Israel, to attack yes. Jewish students and, and threaten them with violence is just shameful and it shouldn't be happening in America. Kathy Hochul has not done that yet either. Um, calls for the National Guard have been coming. Now we have virtual classes and graduations canceled in America 2024. Sir, a pleasure to have you. Former National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien, uh, thank you for your time this Friday. Good to see you.